Randy Barry once again here with the Plaza de Armas and now Cast SA. We're kind of going around to election parties, and we were here at the Philip Cortez party and ran across State Representative Roland Gutierrez, uh, District 118, is that correct? Uh, 119. 119. I missed about one number here. That's, That's all right. that I can. So you actually, t you, had a, you said you had an opponent tonight. You want to? Yeah, we, we, we had a, a Republican opponent, and, uh, you know, we, I, I think we sent a pretty good positive message tonight. We, we beat our index. We're at 62%. That's what we're very happy about that. Um, I think that it sends a message to the community that not only do we have, you know, 57% of the Democrats out there, we have some good Republican crossover. And, and so, you know, we represent everybody in the community. We represent Democrats and Republicans alike, and it's about making sure that working class families uh, get the representation they need. They have somebody up there in Austin fighting for them. So this year, you picked up one more Democrat going up to Austin from the Bear County delegation Absolutely. with Philip Cortez. What are some of the challenges you see or some of the issues that you see in the in the legislature this year? Well, first off, tonight is just a big win, and we're just very proud of Philip, and, and, and we knew he was going to be fine. He's such a hard worker, and we knew he'd be doing well. You know, the big challenges are always, uh, you know, right now in this, in this tenor, what's going on in Austin right now, we have to watch out for this Tea Party, you know. More cuts to education. Uh, possible voucher plans, you know, for education. And so those are the kinds of things that are ultimately so damaging to the state of Texas. Uh, we have to go to Austin to make sure, not so much to pass bills, we have to make sure that more bad stuff doesn't happen. Um, if people think that, you know, they shouldn't go out to the poll sites, they shouldn't go out to vote because politicians don't do anything, just look at what the Republican-controlled legislature did to us last session. They cut uh, funding for education by $5.4 billion. They cut uh, uh, Medicaid, uh, uh, the nursing home uh, assistance by billions of dollars. We have a substantial and fundamentally flawed system right now where we have Republicans and Tea Party Republicans saying no to everything, saying, uh, being the anti-vote. And the fact is, we need government in our lives. We need to educate our children. We need to make sure that our seniors have a, uh, a, a nursing uh, home to go to. Uh, when you start cutting nursing homes, where do they go? Who picks up the tab? So these are the fundamental problems that are happening to us. We're not talking about far left issues. We're talking about issues that matter to our parents, issues that matter to our children. And so when people go to the ballot and think that they might want to go for the vote for the Tea Party, really study and evaluate what those issues are. These people, uh, this party has no understanding of what the common working class family has to deal with in their day-to-day, -day, in their in their day-to-day -day lives. And so we have some fundamental challenges. My, it's my hope that uh, Wendy Davis uh, wins the Senate uh, seat up in Dallas. We desperately need that so that we can have at least some semblance of, uh, of, a, of a posture, if you will, in, this, in the Senate. If we lose her, they'll have a complete majority, and we're in trouble. So let me ask you a little bit on a little bit different uh, item, and that is on regarding the speaker's race. I mean, uh, most people don't even consider that, but I know as legislators, Tomorrow, the first thing that's going to be coming up is what to do about the speaker's race. Speaker Strauss, I understand, is under a little bit of a pressure, not a little pressure. He's under pressure right now from um, someone else that's a Tea Party candidate to um, kind of challenge his position. What's your thoughts regarding the speaker's race right now? Well, y you know, my thoughts are basically this. You know, uh, Speaker Strauss is, is a very nice guy, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, your actions speak louder than words. And so last session, uh, he shut us down on various issues that were important to us. And, and he was supportive of Tea Party issues. So you can say that these folks are, are crazy, and you can say that, that, they're, uh, that, that, that they're, they're so far off to the right that they can't get anything done. But if you go vote lock, lockstep with them, there's a problem. And so, you know, we'll have to see what Speaker Strauss's actions are in the future. I, I, it's my hope to meet with him, sit down with him and see where he wants to lead from. You have to lead from the middle, in my opinion, to get things done in Austin, to get things done in Texas, and to get things in Washington. Okay. You know, the far left and the far right, uh, you know, God love them. We have to, you know, the folks that want to do good things in the middle, want to. we all want the same things. We want good schools. We want to provide jobs for, our, for, our, for the folks in our communities. If we can do that, we'll be able to effectively lead this country in the right path. Fantastic. Well, thank you. and appreciate your time here tonight, and I'll let you, you go Randy. enjoy the party here thank tonight. Thank you, Randy. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Bye. It was a pleasure.